Hi, Jerry. What happened? They broke up their raiding party. Crane and Tosco got away. How about the ones who chased you? Oh, I lost them without any trouble. I think we can track them down, though. No, I think I've got a better bet. Look at this. Why, well, it looks like gold ore. I'm pretty sure it is. I found it near a prospect hole someone had dug in Stokes' section of the reservation. Gold on the reservation? Why, that explains everything. It sure does. Barnett and his gang must have known about it. Well, we've certainly got enough evidence to convict Barnett. I think we have. First, I want to be sure this ore is as high grade as it looks. So I'm going to have it assayed. I'll let you know how I make up. Fine, Jerry. Say job brought in this afternoon. Yeah? Yeah. Man brought in some mighty pretty samples. I'll gamble it was from the same vein as that ore I ran off the Euro Company. Who was it? No, oh, Barnett. You know I can't give out the names of my customers. It's, it's not ethical. Don't give me that kind of talk. I've paid you enough under the table for deals already, and I'll pay you again. Who was it? Well, since you put it that way, it, it was Jerry Randall. And you have to give him the report. Well, it should be tomorrow. Stall him off for three or four days at least. But and don't worry. I'll make it right with you. I'll take care of it. I thought I told you never to come back here again. What's the difference? Our deal's blown up, and I'm getting out of here for good. We're not licked yet. No. The settlers are going to move in and stake out their land as soon as that order gets here from Washington. And that'll be any day now, won't it? Yes. It's due to come in on tomorrow's stage. So that's that. Not quite. We can stop that order from getting here. What good will that do? They'll just issue another one. Perhaps, but it'll give us time to get rid of those settlers. Might work, Barnett, but I can't do it alone. And the new men quit, even Tosco. Tosco will do anything for money. So the renegades up in the hills. Here, spread this around where it'll do the most good. Round up the renegades and have Tosco bring along as many bucks from the reservation as he can. And when the stage comes through the pass, hit it. Okay. Hi, Jerry. Morning, Nancy. Hey, the assayer's furnace burned out and spoiled my ore samples. So I have to go out to the reservation and pick up some more. Thought you might like to go along for the ride. I'll be right with you. Hi, it's Orko. He's been hurt. What happened to you, Orko? They beat me because I would not leave the reservation with them. My chief said I must tell a lad to go. Do you know who? I'll get word to a lad to go. Who beat you and why did they want you to leave the reservation? Tosco and other bad Indians from the hills. They will hold up the stage this afternoon. Ride to the army post and tell the soldiers. Of course, Jerry. After you've rested, go back to your village. Tell your chief he was wise in sending word by you. A lad to go will warn the stage. Indians have already sent for the cavalry, but they may not get here in time. You think we ought to make a run for it? Yeah. How about riding with us? Sure, I can probably do more good inside.
Put your guns away. Now climb down. We got there, let it go. Get the express box. Start walking. The cavalry! Get going! behind the saloon. Then he disappeared. I can guess where he went. Get the sheriff. Take this and get out of the county. I'll be lucky if they don't tie me up with the... caught him, Sheriff. No trouble at all. He was still out cold when my deputies got there. Say, uh, what's the latest about this gold strike on the reservation? Oh, there's gold there, all right. And plenty of it. And the commissioner has arranged it so that the Indians can keep the section where the gold is. Well, I'm glad to hear it. That'll just fix that tribe up nice, won't it? Yes, but it means the school will open again. And I'll have to go back to teaching. Well, Listen. maybe I'll help you. I'll come over and tell the kids about that great legendary hero, Aladigo. Say, that's a good idea, Jerry. Don't you think so, Miss Nancy? Why, of course not, Sheriff. I don't want my children to hear lots of tall tales about imaginary heroes. Imaginary hero? Well, what are you talking about? We have oh, nothing sir, but trouble here. 